the Masters green jacket is as iconic as the Masters itself. It's synonymous with a champion, and among the Masters many different traditions, the green jacket stands chief among them. It originates from Brooks Uniform Company in New York, before switching to Hamilton Tailoring Company from Cincinnati in 1967. And while you may now know who makes it, Hamilton won't create one for you. The specific style of green jacket is not for sale to the public. The style is simple. It's a three-button, double-breasted jacket made of tropical weight wool, and the shade is Pantone 342. The winner of the green jacket has his name stitched on the inside of it. The previous year's winner traditionally gives the green jacket to the new winner at the end of the tournament. 51 different people have won the Masters since the inaugural tournament in 1934. The green jacket, however, was introduced in 1937, and it wasn't for champions. Members of Augusta National wore the green jackets to stick out. The reasoning was so that members of the prestigious Augusta National would be noticeable to the public. That way, they could provide help to those that needed it. The first champion to be awarded the green jacket was Sam Snead in 1949. The three-time champion, Snead received the honor, and the course ran with it, awarding the green jacket to the winner ever since. All previous champions were also retroactively awarded the green jacket, and Snead was made an honorary member with the presentation of it. The tradition behind the green jacket is part of its allure as well. Champions are given the green jacket from a previous winner with a similar physique and given their own later. There is no bigger moment in golf than the moment that a new winner slips on the green jacket, which makes it funny that it's not even their own. The champion can't wear the green jacket stitched for them abroad for a year before it is brought back to Augusta and stored in a special coat room. From then onward, champions can only wear their green jackets on site. Garrett Player is the only champion whose green jacket isn't on site as he took it home with him to South Africa after becoming the first international player to win the Masters in 1961. When he came back to Augusta National, he left the green jacket at home overseas. It is still there, but Player has assured the powers that be that he wouldn't wear it abroad. In another fun quirk of the green jacket, no one has won the Masters more often than Jack Nicklaus six times but it took the Golden Bear some time to get his green jacket. Nicklaus's first title came in 1963, but when he borrowed Arnold Palmer's jacket, it was massive. He still didn't have the green jacket in his locker when he came back in 1964. He borrowed Thomas Dewey's for a little under a decade before having one commissioned from a tailor with which he had a clothing deal. When it looked off, he went back to borrowing green jackets from members. In 1997, he finally mentioned his lack of a green jacket, and in 1998, he got to wear his own on site for the first time. Augusta site estimates that the green jackets are about $250 each to produce, although this isn't confirmed. However, they're so unique that it's more about the symbol behind them than the cost. Ironically, when the green jackets were introduced in 1937, no one even wanted to wear them. The wool was too warm in the Georgia heat. However, the fabric used is thinner now, and wearing one is considered one of the highest honors in golf. Annually, there's a champion's dinner featuring the previous champions at Augusta. Afterwards, those that participate take a photo donning the iconic green jackets. Now, with the Masters underway, who will join these prestigious ranks next year? Or will the winner be someone already in the photo? Only time will tell as the biggest weekend in golf finally gets underway.